Hey everybody, I'm Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona. I'm bringing you a tutorial guide today, um, a little bit out of my lane from reviews, but I'm gonna be showing you very quickly on the Brocock Atomic XR here, how you can switch between this cool carbine uh, buttstock that it has and versus shooting it as a pistol with the power adjuster that we add here in the United States. So the gun is delivered as a pistol unless specifically requested otherwise, but sometimes you wanna flip flop back and forth in between different disciplines require different furniture sometimes. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to swap between those and it's a very simple process. The only tool you need is a three millimeter Allen wrench, that's it. Um, and what we're basically gonna do is I'm just gonna take the chassis off the gun, I'm gonna remove the butt stock from the back and then just reassemble it with the power adjuster in its place. So I'm gonna flip the gun over and just in front of the uh, pistol grip here, there's four screws around the trigger house. So here's the trigger house. There is one, two, three, four screws here. These are three millimeter Allen heads. They don't have to come out in any particular order, but they do have to come out. Okay, so I have all four of them loose on the bottom left screw. You'll notice it has a little bit of a pushback to it. That's because there's a spring underneath there. So I always take quadrant three or back left, whatever you want to call it. I take that screw out. Everything else will slide up. And then where quadrant three was, you just want to put that in there because there's a spring and a ball detent in there for your power adjuster. So I always go ahead and just cap it back off. So right now it's just acting as a plug because there is a spring and a tiny little ball detent. Believe me from, <laughs> I, I know by experience, you will lose that and you will never find that ball detent. So go ahead and cap that on right there. Um, and now the chassis off. So chassis off and where the chassis used to be are two three millimeter plugs. So this holds the entire assembly with the hammer spring into the back of the gun. And so what I'm wanting to do is get rid of the butt stock. Just take those two little three mils. Once again, just take those out. And now the gun, you should be able just to pop the buttstock off. Alrighty, perfect. So there's our buttstock. Here's our hammer spring. We do need to use this again, so we'll set that here. The buttstock can be set aside for later use. You can reuse it on an AR, it's all mill, so lots of things you can do with it. Um, but now here's our power adjuster and here's the two threaded receiver holes that those screws are gonna cap onto. So I'm gonna put hammer spring in here. I'm gonna put this right in here and it doesn't actually push too hard. So you don't have to push it down too hard. This just acts as a cap when it's on, when it's not threaded. So one, and now at this point, it's just basically reassembly. And I'll start with those two three millimeters. And then in this point, so now it's back together. I like to double check that the gun can still cock. Um, just make sure that the hammer spring isn't bound, that there isn't anything in there that's gonna prevent any function, which there isn't on this one. It's good, cocks. Um, give the adjuster a little run, make sure there's no friction or anything that feels tight in there. This one feels great, goes both ways. And last but not least, you just gotta put the chassis back on. So when you take this off, always be mindful there is a spring under there and it wants to come out at you. All right, there we go. And then those same four screws just need to be reinserted. All right, there it is. That is the entire process from going to a carbine with a buttstock to now a pistol with a standalone power adjuster. And I told you it wasn't difficult. <laughs> it is basically six screws, take them off, put them back on. It's very simple. It makes the Atomic XR really versatile. Gives you a lot of different things you can use it for, um, but not an intimidating process at all. Thanks for joining us on this tutorial guide. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Leave comments and questions below if you have any follow-up questions. Um, but thanks for stopping by, we'll see you next time.